Hello, this is Dr. Dave Gatros, and this is for COP3014 Programming 1. We're going to show you how to compile a simple program using Video Studio Express 2013. The very first thing we want to do is find the program itself, and it's usually over here if you've installed it properly. It's under Video Studio 2013, it's in its own uh, little directory. We start it. I'm just going to come up with an express. I've installed it already. Everything works. Um, one note, if you have some problems uh, with the uh, software itself, you may want to consider turning off your antivirus software. It has been reported that it will interfere with the proper functioning of this program. Well, we want to actually start a new project. I've uh, got a couple projects in here I've been working on already, but we'll actually go ahead and start a new project. You want to make sure it's under Visual C++. It's a Win32 project. And select Win32 project over here, not the console application, Win32 project. You can make both of them work. We're just going to make sure it's uh, um, uh, the proper way. Project 1. Okay, we're going to create a directory. Say next. Here you want to make sure it's a console application and an empty project. Then we say finish. Leave everything else the way it is. Now we're ready to start programming. We don't have a file up because we didn't have a pre-compiled header. What we want to do is we want to add new item. Make sure that it is code. It's a C++ file and we give it a name. We say uh, DAG55, use your FSU ID, and then set by some type of designator to tell it which assignment it is. We're going to say add. And here's our blank file. Let's do our uh, basic program. Include IOStream. This is Hello World. Using namespace standard int main void see out hello world and l return zero we're going to we can go ahead and, and save this okay Save DAG. We're going to save it. We're going to build. Build solution. Okay. We have built the solution. Now we're going to run. You always run without debugging. We'll talk about debugging later on. And there we have our program. So again, we've done. This is the what well, the uh, file we want you to submit is the DAG55 assignment.cpp. If you have a hard time. Um, uh, saving it. Uh, what you can do, you can actually uh, uh, save it in another location if you want to. So we say file. Notice I had to click in on the file itself. File, save, DAG55 uh, here, and I can actually put it in a location. Uh, let's say that I want to put it in my desktop and say, or um, let's say in, uh, let's see, mm, I'll put it in users, Ketros, documents, someplace I can find it safe and uh, easily. So there it is. That's the file you want to submit and uh, hope you found this useful. Uh, run it a couple times if you need to. Talk to you later. Bye.